Hey friends, it's Lane with Crafty Life Mom. I am back again today with another DIY that is very quick and very easy to make. It is three pumpkins, or you can make just one, but I made them as a set of three, and it is pumpkins using items from the Dollar Tree, a free download file that you can get from my website, craftylifemom.com, and use with either your Cricut machine or you can cut by hand if you don't have a Cricut or a Silhouette cutting machine. So today's DIY are, is these three cute pumpkins. I think as a set of three, they make a great little set. They kind of go together, but you can obviously just do the one. And so I'm gonna show you how I transformed these Dollar Tree pumpkins into these cute Hello Fall set of three pumpkins. So let's get started. Okay, so for this project, you are going to want to download from my website, craftylifemom.com, this Pumpkins Hello Fall and Harvest printable. Now, you can take the file once you download it and either print off the PDF file and cut your tags out by hand if you do not own a Cricut or Silhouette machine. But if you do own a Cricut or Silhouette or some other cutting machine, you can download the SVG file and load it into your software. From there, you'll You'll want to print and then cut the file and you will see here in this cutting file I actually have it cut four tags for you so that you can have a blank tag to use your own word or put um, some other phrase if you want to other than hello fall pumpkins or harvest you could even use your last name for this or you could put the year if you wanted to do that either way I left it optional for you so that you could create your own tag however you see fit for this project For this next part, I went ahead and picked up three Dollar Tree pumpkins. They're actually wooden pumpkins, and I gathered up three sheets of scrapbook paper that I purchased from local craft stores. I believe the pumpkin paper came from Joann's, and the cotton and other linen-like paper came from Hobby Lobby. What I did next was using one of the white pumpkins, I decided to get my Waverly chalk paint out in this celery color and paint the edges of the pumpkin in this green celery color. I just thought it went really nice with the scrapbook paper and I liked how I would have a set of three different toned pumpkins for this project. I just thought they went really well together. You certainly don't have to paint your screen. You can leave them white or do something completely different or even paint them a completely different color altogether. It is up to you. And before I painted them, I did remove those raffia papered bows just so they wouldn't be in the way. I wasn't sure if I was going to reuse them or not, but I went ahead and removed them before I started painting my pumpkin. Okay, so while I waited for the green pumpkin's paint to dry, I took one of the other pumpkins and traced it on the back side of all three sheets of scrapbook paper. This way I could have the shape of the pumpkins of each paper cut, and I just simply traced it using a pen and my scissors and cut out the shape of each pumpkin. Once I had all three sheets of paper completely cut down to size, I used my hot glue gun to glue them to the front surfaces of each pumpkin. Now you could certainly use Mod Podge for this where you would Mod Podge the front of the pumpkin and then apply the paper on top of that. And then you would probably want to also Mod Podge or do a top coat on top of the scrapbook paper. I'm just a fan of hot glue, so that's what I had and that's what I used. As soon as I put the hot glue gun or the hot glue down onto the pumpkin, I put my paper on it immediately and then pressed down very firmly and very hard to make sure that there was no ripples or bumps from the hot glue coming up through the paper.
Okay, so for this next part, I wanted to embellish the pumpkins and add some of the tags that I had from my print and cut file. So you can see here I was playing around with the tags and seeing which ones would look good on which pumpkin. So I ultimately decided to take the Hello Fall tag and then actually glue it onto a piece of scrap burlap ribbon and then I kind of like folded it and kind of crinkled it to make it look like a banner securing it kind of across the front of the white pumpkin. I decided that this was going to be the front and center pumpkin so I thought one tag was just enough. Um, I could have easily done three tags but it might have been too much. You can certainly do it however you want to. And then in the end, I took a piece of jute twine and just tied it into a bow on top of this pumpkin and secured it in place using a little bit of hot glue. And I just really love the way that this pumpkin came out because it's very simple. It is farmhouse theme, which I absolutely love. And I just think that it's super cute and super simple and easy to recreate. Then I moved on to the orange pumpkin and I had some of this burlap or I'm sorry buffalo check ribbon from Joann's craft store and I decided to make it into a little bow and add it at the top of the stem here for this pumpkin. I didn't want to do too much for this because the paper itself is pretty cute and kind of busy so I just added this simple bow just to kind of top it off and to give it a little bit of extra embellishment to this pumpkin. Lastly, for the green pumpkin, for the cotton stem pumpkin, I decided to add back one of those raffia bows and one of those acorn scatter pieces to the top of the stem in order to just give it a little bit of extra embellishment. Again, this pumpkin wasn't going to be in the center and this paper is also busy like the pumpkin paper is, so I didn't want to do too much or add another tag to take away from the whole three-piece collection of these three pumpkins. Here's a look at all three of the pumpkins displayed in my tier tray. I just really love the way this project came out. The set of three is super adorable and I think it's perfect for introducing fall into your home for this season. Here's another look of the three pumpkins on my end table in my living room. Make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel and like this video and until then I will see you guys in my next DIY. Bye!